So now on the mound today for State, Gerangelo Sanja, the ambidextrous pitcher against Mac Bingham to get everything started. Yesterday, and a strike three called at the knees on the outside corner. Thatcher Hurd trying to get out of the bottom of the first. And that's a fair ball inside the bag at third and all the way down to the left field corner. Amani Larry scores. They're going to wave home Hunter Hines. Here comes the throw, and it's not in time. Isaac going to try to get third, and he's in there. And State has a 2-0 lead. Well, they pitch around Hunter Hines, and the Bulldogs, Connor Isaac delivers. His power's a ball. That's the second ball just hit hard right down the third baseline, the bottom of the zone. And that's a fair ball. That's three in a row right down the line. Downs on his way to second. Here comes a throw. It's not in time. And the third Bulldog double of the first inning in the exact same spot. And here's Logan Kohler. And first pitch swinging pops out one out of the shallow left. Braswell calling for it and gives way to the left fielder. And Pearson makes the catch. Breaking ball, and that's a bunt that's going to be a nice bunt. Bulldogs had brought the shift around when State was a national seed. 2-0. In the air, left side of the infield, Stephen Milam hits it a mile high, and Mershon is there to haul it in, and that will end the inning. Back in the 1970s, down in Miami, a soft line drive and over the glove of Mershon and into left field, and... Michael Braswell with a single to left field. And some good times visiting with them. And through the left side, that's a base hit from Tommy White. Two hits in the inning, and the inning stays alive for Jared Jones. Swing and a miss, and that will end the inning. And some emotion from a Gerangelo Saint Right where the third baseman is standing right now. That ball soft liner into left field. That's a base hit. Went the other way with it. Nice piece of hitting by Pearson. Swing and a miss at the 97 mile an hour fastball. Does that constitute declaring? Swing nice. and a miss. And that's out number two. And 2-2 two, two to Milam. Swing and a miss. And that will end the inning. So Sanja, after giving up the leadoff single, strikes out the next three. Yeah, Milam and Larson. Outside. Back -back. That ball hit well in the right center field. It's going to split the outfielders. Get all the way to the wall. Larson will be waved around third, and here comes a throw to the plate, and it is not in time. And an RBI double for Michael Braswell. Larson scores from first, and LSU is on the board in the fifth. And they'll put him on here. And that's what he did. And the bases are loaded. Swing and a miss. And a big strikeout for Gerangelo Sanja. And that one just below the zone and ball four. And outside ball four. And we're tied at three. In the air on the infield. And Mershon makes the play, and that ends the inning. And that's a leadoff walk in the bottom of the fifth. Ripped in the right field, and that's going to drop for a base hit. And a dangerous pitch to put one over the middle. There's a shot to center field. Ranging back in the ballpark, not going to haul this one. Home run number 10 for Dakota Jordan. And State has a 6-3 lead. Well, a dangerous pitch on 2-0. That one actually was at the bottom of the zone. Jordan hits a really good pitch here and then just drives it 416 feet to dead center field. In a situation there, Bart, you see so many times on a 2-0 count, a pitcher will feel like they've got to give in with a fastball. 
And he was sitting dead red on slider all the way. Here's a 2-1. That ball is mashed. See you later. My goodness. Back to back. The fourth home run for Hunter Hines. That ball just went 430 feet. Oh, my. Well, that woke the dude up. Well, and that's what the Bulldog fans wanted to see. Dakota Jordan and Hunter Hines hitting back-to-back -back in this lineup, and this one is absolutely torched. Well, the old Bull Durham. He throws me the breaking ball. I'm going to take it downtown. Man, that ball lined to the left center field, and that's going to split the outfielders. And Larson, the freshman, on his way to second. A leadoff double for LSU in the sixth inning. Runner at second. Gonna look back at second base. No, we're going to have. Oh, a balk is called. And Chris Lamonis is going to come out with some spirited discussion here. He's asking, what did he do? Mm. Nobody out, the 2-2. Swing and a miss, 68. Swing and a miss at the slider, 2-2. Hits that ball well into center field, and that ball is gone. A home run for Tommy White. His third of the weekend. And LSU cuts the lead in half at 7-5. to five. Well, Tommy White hits this one 4-0-4. So much for two-strike approach, but that's just the power he has. He spreads out, chokes up a little bit, and then still hits it over 400 feet. Charlie, you could kind of see that coming when he stepped into the box and was two strikes. He just widened it out and made it all arms. Yeah. And he grounds that one into left field for a base hit. Johnny Long with the single to left field. And through the left side, a base hit. Long will stop at second base. Line drive right field, that's a base hit. Long as the ball gets past the right fielder. And here we go. Two runs will score. DJ ends up at third. And State back out in top by four at nine to five. Well, so much is made out of Dakota Jordan's power, but this is just being a hitter. Being willing to go the other way with the ball. It was destined to drive in one, but once it gets past Neal out in right field, that allows Mershon to get around and score. It'll go in the book as a single for Dakota Jordan. And the 3-0 outside and a four-pitch walk. Angle you create for the right-handed hitter. Hot chop, third baseman, picked by Tommy White, throw it over and pull it off the bag and a run will score. In the center field, that's a base hit. Two runs will score. A two-out RBI single for Logan Kohler and the Bulldogs have done the damage this weekend with two out RBI. Now Kohler coming up with his first hit of the ball game and it's a big one. And two out hitting for Mississippi State here today. Right at the second baseman, picked out of the, on the short hop by Milam, 3-1. And a leadoff walk for Dakota Jordan. 1-1. Sawed him off. 
Hit it to the right side. Tough play. Underhand toss and not in time. And here's Aaron Downs. He'll bat. Three hits today to the left side. Braswell long throw across and he's safe. Swings and misses at the breaking ball way out of the zone. And the second out. And that is a fair ball inside the bag at third. Two runs are going to score. And it's 14 to 5 with a two run double by Bryce Chance. And that is the fourth double of this ball game that the Bulldogs have put just inside the bag at third. Man, it hit him. And ball high and inside, and Mississippi State has one ruled LSU. 15 to 5 in the Sunday game, and State takes two out of three from LSU this weekend on the opening weekend of SEC play.